What's going on, people? How's everybody doing today on this beautiful... We got a beautiful day up here. A little chilly this morning. Uh, me and Mrs. Mack got up around 6. It was 45 degrees out. Uh, supposed to shoot right up, though, till, to 80 the rest of the week. And today. So I think I'm going off on once on the bike. Jump on or take a little ride. A buddy of mine just texted me. Wanted to know if he... <coughs> Excuse me. What do you mind just texting me wanted to know if we wanted to meet for lunch? And I said, you know, that sounds like a good idea. Why not? Mrs. Mack went back to work today. The kids go back. The kids start school up here tomorrow. Matter of fact, we have some kids that have already gone back to school last week. And I'm sure there are places where they've already started. I think I know uh, Jeff sent me a picture of his daughter going off to school. I think it was a week ago. So... Yeah, it's here. It's here. Well, my Corsair is built. Uh, sitting out back, all ready to be shown. But um, I was told by my esteemed associate that if I post a video before he's finished with his, he's going to send the ferrets down. Well, I don't need that. All right? So I told him I'd wait till he was done. Christ, it's like building with the dry dock. Christ, would have been quicker. Whatever, whatever. Uh, the best part about this whole plane was the decals. Mine went on nice and easy, and they looked good. I had no problem with mine. Uh, let's see if we can show you. There was a glitch, couple of a glitch in this thing on the decal sheet. Okay, right here. All right, this is number 11. All right, number 11 goes on Jeff's build. And it's number 10. Okay, but they had it numbered. They had them numbered right, but they got the wrong one on my plane. It should have been the 24 MR, and they do have it. They do have it. It was mark number 11. But instead of showing that one, they're showing you the one that goes on the other plane. That's not right. This should be a 24, not a 14. That goes on this plane, because this plane is number 14. Um, the, the numbers on the, the numbers here are 14. That go on here are number 14. Uh, the 14 is on the side. Okay, whereas mine were all 24s. So you got to watch that if you're doing this. Don't, if you're going to do this one, because I, this is the one I built. I built the uh, AFU for VMF 214 Black Sheep Squadron. The USS Sicily CVE 118 Korea 1951. And I think Jeff's is... Jeff says the F4U4 VMA332, USS Barocco, CVE-115, Korea, July 1953. So his is, my uh, plane is greater than his, is older than his. All one color, um, except I got a rear, the, uh, this rear piece here is red on mine. And the, and the uh, thing on front of the propeller is red. Whereas on his, I think it's all the same color. Yeah, his is all the same color. Everything is, everything is uh, flat sea blue. Or sea blue. It's not flat. It's got a gloss to it. Which I think helps the decals go down on it. And then the other thing I noticed here, I don't know if Jeff noticed it, but... On the plane, on the plane itself, in the directions, you got two antenna. Okay, you got two antenna. But then when you go to the back section here, now I don't know if they left it out, if they left it out, I don't know, but they left it out, but you don't see it on here anywhere. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? 
I think it's the same thing on the one that he's doing too. They don't show it. Yep, same thing on his. They don't show it. So where is it? It's not supposed to be there. It is supposed to be there. I put mine on and I put the antenna on here. But uh, I don't know. But then in the picture they show it. You can see it in the picture. Yeah, right there. But I don't know why they left it out of the back. I I don't know. Save space, I guess. <laughs> she cut me. But uh, yeah, that's all built. So like I said, I told my buddy I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't do the final reveal until he finishes up. He says he don't have long. I think he was down to decal in his too. But uh, yeah, so I got no problem with waiting. I don't want the ferrets here. That's all I need. Christ. The cat's bad enough. And Mrs. Mack. Speaking of Mrs. Mack. Very cool to see that the ladies participated. Um, I was a little weary of mentioning anybody. Because I wasn't really sure if they'd participate, you know. And I, you know, there was no pressure for anybody. There's never any pressure for anybody to get in front of the camera. Uh, but I know how hard that is. It took me a while to, to, to do it. It, it did. It takes, it takes a lot of guts. You know? Um, but uh, very, very cool, lady, uh, ladies. You get a round of applause from me. And I hope that the other girls we tagged would, would do it. Al, Al Wood's wife got tagged. Jocelyn, she got tagged. Uh, Rambo 69's wife, Tom. Tom's wife, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. She got tagged. And Tom said he was gonna, she was going to do it, but she had to get her hair done first. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, yep. And then uh, it was good to see Jeff Trees. Uh, and I know that uh, Gary G's wife, at least she's been tagged a couple of times. I think we tagged her. And I know uh, Jeff Trees and his wife tagged her. Uh, so that would be cool to see. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really great to get to meet the ladies. To get to meet the great ladies behind us crazy bastards. I see that uh, knitting seems to be the number one, uh, the number one hobby amongst the ladies. That's uh, I think I think that was pretty uh, funny. Uh, they all they all mentioned knitting. Huh. Yeah, she certain. My wife certainly does a lot of it. She does a ton of it. She makes a lot of cool stuff. Very very talented lady. Good shit too. Oh my, got lucky. So, uh, the battle, the ironclad, I shouldn't say battleship, ironclad. Well, I got my waterline on with the vinyl, uh, with the vinyl, and I don't think it came out too bad. I did it to save time. Would I do it again? Yes. My only thing is I need to find something that will cut a consistent strip. Um, I had a hard time keeping the width consistent because no matter how I held the freaking, uh, how hard I tried to hold the rule and everything else, it just kept moving a little bit on me. So I, I'd start out okay and then I'd end up wide, or I'd start out okay and end up. So I had to use bits and pieces. There were some spots there where it, but uh, I would, I'd definitely do it again. And the, um, I might, I'll just show you. These little things that are white kind of screwed me up too, you know what I mean? Because I had to go in between those. So I couldn't make this a consistent line. I had a, I had a cut, I cut pieces actually. But I don't think it'll come out too bad. I don't think it'll come out too bad at all. It's like I said, it saved me a hell of a lot of time. And then I had to do all these white with the, uh, those were done with the gel, white gel pen. And that side. Then we go to the other side. But I don't think it'll come out too bad. What do you think, Dave? Over at West Coast. I don't think it'll come out too bad. I always have a tough time with this with the back one though. It seems like you can never get that back one to go on right. It just I don't know. It looks like it's got a little hoopy in it there on the right side. But tough to get it to go around that, you know, because it's it's a compound curve, you know. Not only are you going around a corner, you're at an angle, too, and try to keep it straight. But, no, it didn't come out too bad. I'm happy with it, so 
Uh, I got some PE railings to put on this. I got these little dragons up under here to paint gold. That ought to be fun. See the little dragon up there? They gave me PE for it, but I'm not going to cut that one off and put in put the PE. And if I put the PE over this, it's going to look stupid. So it's just going to get painted gold. I got no problem with that. A uh, deck. So, that's where we are with that. And I got, uh, I have PE railings to put all around these. I can't wait to do this. Bad enough putting the little propellers on the back, which I have to paint uh, gold. That ought to be fun. So, that's where we are. Little update to you guys. Little update. All right there, ferret man. When you get done, let me know. God, it probably won't be the weekend. Christ. All right, guys. Peace out.